Hello, Stack. I'm Michael Keegan. Today I'm here with Kelwin Sungi Jen, and today we're going to be talking about social media. Um, a lot of social media apps out there, you know, ever since with MySpace in 2003, you know, anyone who, ha who still has MySpace, please come on the show. I would love to talk to you, but um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be focusing more on Twitter and Instagram. Do you have those apps? Yeah, I have those. All right. What do you what do you uh, think of Twitter and Instagram? What's your take on it? Well, um, I feel like if you honestly want to know which app has the most toxicity, I would have to go with Twitter because honestly, you can't go, you can't look at a post um, of a comment without seeing a bunch of negativity. Mm. But I still feel like um, these social media posts are a good way to like get the word out to people, like in case of, in case of certain situations. Awesome. Um, should 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 social media apps be phased out? And like, what I mean by that is like, I don't know, do you think we should start moving away from social media or at all, like that because of the cognitive effects that we, we see now or? Well, that, well, that is, a, well, I think we could all agree that social media is kind of like a double-edged sword. It has its positives and its negatives. So I think that, but if you're talking about how social media should be phased out, I think we should like keep kids off it for a bit because you don't know what because you don't know what kids are gonna see especially like in today's world where kids are getting like more access to the internet and going on stuff that they shouldn't be on so it's a 50 50 thing true true um do you think social media apps have more positives or negatives since you mentioned it well like i well like i said like social media like everything else that comes into the world Double-edged sword, positives, negatives. You can't have one without the other, really. So, so yeah, um, I say they both have equal footing in positives and negatives, but I still feel like kids should not be on those apps. They should just be like on stuff on like YouTube, with like because on YouTube you can have age res restrictions, so your kids won't be going on stuff that they shouldn't be shouldn't be looking up. That's a very good point. YouTube does have age restrictions. Yeah. That's right. Well, that's all the time we have here today. Uh, thank you so much for the interview, Kelvin. Anytime, my friend. Peace. Sign off.